In this series, we're going to be doing something super special. We're actually going to be building our own artificial intelligence trading machine from scratch. So I'll show you exactly how to build a computer to trade for you, right? You can call it whatever you want, an algorithm, a trading computer, a robot, whatever it is. Basically, it's going to be a computer that's going to trade for us. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually want to do something more advanced on our YouTube channel. And I know a lot of people are interested in this now. And there's not a lot of content out there for doing similar things. There's a lot of content for basic stuff. So I didn't want to just, uh, you know, repeat what others have done. I want to do something different. So that being said, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm going to be actually programming this with you. We're going to be doing it together. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing this live, right? We're going to quote it. I'm going to make mistakes along the way. We're going to correct them. And we're actually going to finish building it. And we're going to run it live with real money and see how it performs. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Now, the way we are going to program it is really going to be like a video game. Okay, and this is the way I view the stock market. The way I view the stock market is it's a video game, right? And you, you're a player in that video game. You have tools that are, it could be technical tools, fundamental tools, which are the same tools that a player in a video game would have, like a sword, a shield, an armor. And you also have health, which is your maximum amount of money that you could lose, just as a player in a video game would have health. And the player in the video game will act in a certain way based on its environment, right? How it's, uh, where it's at in the game, who it's playing against, uh, all of this stuff, right? If its opponent is strong or if it's weak, if it's what type of player, so also, I would like to program my machine to trade in the environment of the stock market based on the environment of the stock market at that time. So again, if, if I put this here, okay, I, I would like you to imagine it this way. When you're playing a video game, and this could be you, and you're, you know, on a, in a certain environment, maybe this is, you're in the woods right now or some something like that here, this is a tree. And you're playing, you're playing, you have a gun, you're supposed to kill your enemy, and there's this other computer. And whenever you're playing against a computer, you know when people say the AI of this uh, computer is very strong, the, the AI is very good, or this computer is very good, we're talking about its artificial intelligence, if it's good or bad. Now, a computer that's going to play against you, you can play against the computer that on an easy level, a medium, or a hard level, right? And when you're playing on a harder level, it just means that the AI of the computer is better. It thinks better. It makes better decisions. Now, how does this computer make decisions? It makes decisions based on what it has. So does it have a, a gun as well? Does it have a sword? Does it have whatever tools it has? Does it have a shield? It's going to use the tools it has. Now, it's also going to use the environment. If there's a tree, it might hide behind the tree. If there's a big pyramid, it might hide behind the pyramid. Uh, if it's low on health, it might be more conservative and hide. If it has a lot of health, it might run after you and be more aggressive. So I would like you to view the stock market at the same way. The stock market is going to be the environment, right? This is going to be the stock market. So... Is the stock market right now volatile or is it not volatile? Is it, uh, uh, you know, is there high volume or is there low volume? And then you can also view, sorry here, and then you can also view uh, the the your current state, right? Are you low on health? So had, have you had several losing trades or are you high on health? Are you up on your account? Uh, what tools do you have? The sword, the shield? Well, this could be the RSI, the Bollinger Bands, the Moving Average, VWAP, Volume, whatever it is, you can use these tools. So the way I'd like us to code this robot would be to program a player. Okay, we're going to program a player. Sorry, a player. We're going to give it tools, okay? that it could use, and these could be technical indicators, fundamentals, prices, uh, breaking points, whatever it is, right? Uh, and then it's going to trade based on 
the environment. Now we're going to start it off slow. So basically when, when I mean we started off slow, we're going to tell our player what to do in the beginning. So we're going to tell our player, hey, we want you to buy shares of a, a stock if it breaks, you know, it's moving average or whatever it is, right, that we decide. And it'll do that by itself, right? That's our objective. Now, once we do this first step, which is going to be building uh, a uh, a hard coded algo, a I get I guess a stupid algo. So basically, not a stupid, but I mean it's hard coded. We tell it what to do, and it does it. It's a dumb algo, right? It doesn't. That's all it does. It's going to go on. It's going to trade the stock market exactly the way we use it. Uh, build a you know just the algo. Okay, we're going to build the algo. Then step two, we're going to go a step further. We're going to try and uh, incorporate machine learning, right? Or no, we're actually going to going to have it uh, fully autonomous, right? So it does whatever it wants to do uh, without us hard coding it. And the way we're going to do this is by giving it different states. And just as in a video game, based on the states it's in, it's going to act differently. And that actually could be incorporated uh, you know, in a subsection of section one. Now, section two, we're going to incorporate machine learning. So machine learning. And again, if you're, if you just want to build an algo and that's it and automate something, then you're going to stop here. You don't need to go to the next level. If you want to go further, we're going to incorporate machine learning, which basically we're going to tell the computer to learn from its mistakes and to change how it acts, which tools to use in under which environment, right? Maybe on a high volatility environment, it's going to use different tools in a low volatility environment. But basically, we're not going to tell it what to do anymore. It's going to make its own decisions. So it's going to learn and it's going to evolve. So we're also going to be adding genetic evolution, right? Where we're telling it to morph its code, to change its code, or have offsprings. And we're going to get more in depth about what genetic evolution is and how to incorporate that in trading. Uh, but to change its code and its genes, basically. Then we're also going to add pattern recognition, right? So for it to recognize uh, patterns. So this is obviously going to be more advanced. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're going to do first step first because this is what I think everybody would want to do, you know, build your own algo, build an automated or even semi-automated trading machine. Now, how are we going to build it? Uh, we're going to build it. I'll actually cover that in the next lecture, uh, which language we're going to use and uh, how we're going to we're going to do that. But I'm going to make it in a way that it should work under whatever software you're using. You're just going to have to code it a bit differently based on your software. We'll see which software uh, we use it on now. Uh, before I end this video, I want to get your advice down in the comments. Tell me, what do you think about this idea? Do you want me to continue this this series? If you do, uh, comment, like it, because if I see that a lot of people uh, want me to continue working on something like this or putting this out there, I'll do it. If nobody is really interested in it, I'm, uh, I might not continue it. Now, if you are interested, let me know also in the comments what type of tools you would like me to give this character, what type of technical indicators, what type of strategies, under what software would you like me to work, uh, to program it on? Interactive Broker, another software, uh, you know, whatever you guys like, if I see that in the comments, I'll definitely, definitely, definitely put it. Since we're building it this together, uh, Whatever you're putting in the comments in one video, in the next video, I'll be implementing it, right? So uh, let's get it rolling. Let me know what you think. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.